Records is an author and also a Trump supporter. She joins us live now from uh, Los Angeles. I mean, we saw an altogether softer seeming uh, Donald Trump in that CBS interview. But how did you feel as a Trump supporter about him seeming to uh, uh, soften the edges on things like the, the war with Mexico, uh, Obamacare, um, whether or not he'd go after Hillary Clinton uh, in terms of uh, you know, his claim that he wanted to lock her up? Were you happy about that? Well, in the interview, the CBS interview, he's actually the man that he's always been, with the exception of the campaign, where he really was um, putting forth an image of a tough guy. And he is a tough guy, but he's also got this very compassionate side. He is a negotiator. He is going to negotiate with Congress. He's going to try to implement as much as he can. And I appreciate the fact that he is going to be able to get along with everybody in Congress, from Democrats to Republicans to anybody who's in between. And so I think that's a strength. I think it's great that he is softening a little bit um, now. I knew he would because he's being the man that he's always been. And I've been very surprised that pundits and the mainstream media in the United States have characterized him so falsely as this person who is evil, as racist, as sexist. That's not the man he is. It's not the man he's ever been. And so now America is going to see the real Donald Trump finally. But I mean, in fairness, uh, he did call Mexican rape, Mexicans rapists. He said a number of things during his campaign that were uh, really quite shocking for a lot of people. Well, he doesn't speak in a very pronounced way. He's kind of got what I call a cowboy mouth. So he just kind of spits it all out. And during the campaign, he didn't want to clean up some of the things he said because he was trying to be the tough guy. He felt that it was important during the primary to be tough in order to beat all of his opponents. And so that was why he didn't clean up some of the comments he made. He didn't mean that all Mexicans are criminals or rapists. He meant that some are. It just didn't come out in an elegant way. So do you think that this negotiating that you're talking about uh, is what we've seen in the appointments he'd made? I mean, Ryan Priebus is, is seen as a more sort of uh, middle of the road Republican, isn't it? He is. He's he's very conventional. I think he's an excellent pick for chief of staff. And yet he picked Steve Bannon as an advisor who is more of a maverick and more of a radical. So it shows that there's this tension, even in his picks, there's going to be this tension in his administration of being the radical who drains the swamp and overthrows all the, the, the bad things in Washington. On the other hand, he's going to get along with everyone, which is what he's really always done in his life. He's always been someone who brings people together. So he's going to have these two parts of himself that are at play during his um, tenure in Washington. And I think that's very healthy and positive. All right, Charlotte Law, it's really interesting to have your perspective. Thank you very much.